What is going on everybody? It is the Video Game Architect aka VGA aka Double Tap for the OGs and speaking of OGs I need to start this video out with giving a shout out to the truest of them all and that is Lord Zane Colfin. Since I've opened up memberships essentially he's been rocking with this channel as a top tier professional architect and I gotta give him a true shout out for this video and every video continuing on. You guys will notice at the beginning of this in my intro he has been added as a hall of fame member anybody who joins as professional architects will join that list if you guys are interested you guys can head over to memberships and become a professional architect too but i had to shout out lord zane before doing anything but with all that said let's hop in to part nine of oxygen included and get going all right guys so you will see that i added some extra spots to our main table of dining there so that's because we are going to go ahead and add in some new duplicates it is definitely time to hit the blueprints up and see what is available because let's face it our base is at a pretty steady spot right now we're in a good place to add more and not have to worry about not having what's necessary so what we're going to do is finally go to select a blueprint here quite truthfully all three of these blueprints are pretty decent i would go with any three of these but i am going to go ahead and choose this bit just because having an extra doctor and somebody who has bonus on machinery is not bad we can definitely take advantage of these skills and use her in our colony so we're going to go ahead and select her and press print finally we have added another duplicate it's been quite a few episodes we are going to go ahead and assign her a cot simply by selecting a cot and assigning her by her name so now we don't need to worry about bedtime she's good to go and she's not going to be lonely in that bedroom for too long we will be adding some more blueprints in further episodes that is guaranteed so what we're going to focus on this episode is ventilation we're finally going to add some basic level filtration because as you guys will see when we actually enter a gas overlay here i'm getting rid of all of our gases including oxygen and it's right in the name of the game that oxygen is not included and we do not want to waste that so we are going to go ahead and finally add in gas filters so you do that by simply selecting the gas filter and i'm going to add one on the left side and one on the right side where i want some oxygen because we are going to go ahead and filter out all the toxic gases that we don't want and pipe back in our oxygen so we're not wasting that and sending it to space because that is no bueno so what we're going to do is add a gas pipe to the um, intake hose and then we are going to go ahead and add the filtered output pipe which is the orange one and add a vent on the end of it because we want to pump back out our clean oxygen and then we're going to go ahead and add a gas pipe on the right side that is for all the undesirable gases so as you guys will see there i did actually also disconnect the pipe in the middle there so we have a system here to get rid of the undesirable gases and keep our oxygen so i'm going to go ahead and select there that we want breathable gas and we want oxygen that's telling the filter to filter out all the oxygen and dump everything else now all we need to do is add it to the power line and we will see this go into operation and keep that hot healthy oxygen that we do not want to waste whenever the duplicates decide they're going to get to it here you go somebody's doing it beautiful now we'll see it click on right away and that should be yep there you go you'll see all the blue squares which represent oxygen being pumped back in and all the undesirable gases being pumped out that's what we truly want to be happening with this gas system previously we were just getting rid of everything which is not desirable so this is very basic level but at least we're not getting rid of oxygen anymore so we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this on the other side so you guys can also get some good practice on here with getting this system going it's pretty simple but it helps a lot so another reason i'm doing it here is because you can see on these higher levels that we're not getting tons of oxygen not as much as we're getting at some of the lower levels so i thought this would be a decent spot so again we're going to connect the main line to the intake which is the white and then the orange hose which is the filter output we're going to go ahead and draw a small line and add a vent at the end of it and then we're going to have the output pipe run all the way back up to the line and we're going to go ahead and destroy those two pipes in the middle so that it creates a circuit there you go disconnect those disconnect that and there you go 
Now we have a full circuit and everything should be operating smoothly just as the previous one was. We are forgetting, however, that we need to also add a power line. We'll add that as well, eventually. Everybody eating. And it's day 45, guys. We're doing pretty good. We're almost at door, uh, day 50, finally. So that's exciting. We're, we're grinding, we're getting things done. And we're finally expanding too, which is it's super exciting because you guys have seen that you could get through most of it with a small number, but it's time to start adding to that so we can be getting even more done. But we're gonna finish getting this ventilation system set up. We should start seeing some more oxygen at these higher levels as well by dumping it back out, which is great news. I know you guys can see here that power is going off once in a while. I know they're having to add coal, but we will address power in one of these future episodes and get an upgraded power system going as well. But for now, it's it's suffice. So we're gonna leave it alone and focus on keeping some of this healthy gas. Here, I was considering doing some upgrades, but I was like, you all know what, we're gonna save that for a different episode. So, decided to focus on our main task at hand. I was getting a little carried away there. But here we go, as soon as we add this vent, it should start pumping out oxygen the same way. Well, it would help to select it first. So there you go, now that we selected it, you could see that it started actually ciphering out the oxygen. So easy mistake to make, but it's a simple system but it's really important and truth be told i should have showed you guys as soon as we set up our initial gas but it's okay it's better late than never that's for sure so it's super simple and you can see it spitting out all the undesirables so that's ex exactly what we want and working exactly as planned so now that we have that done i think we will focus on doing a little bit of digging too because it's super important that you start digging out because there's a lot of things that you can't get in the lower levels, a lot of really desirable items and necessary things to continue the game. So we will have to continue digging. And that's why I decided on this left side, it's a good idea because we also have a filtration system on this side already for ventilation, which is really important. So I figured this would be a decent side to start on and you can see all kinds of new things that we're going to be able to dig out here which is fantastic because that's the entire point here we it is time that we start exploring a little bit more shall i say as you guys can see some of those Digging spots have diamonds on them and the double diamonds that's representing that you need those people with the hard digging school uh, digging skill in order to get it out so do keep in mind that you are going to have to have some duplicates that are dedicated to digging so these guys are getting it done though they're grinding through it pretty quickly gonna just take a quick second here to let you guys know that I will be posting at least one video per week guaranteed I'm gonna try for two uh, but yeah I can guarantee you guys at least one and my analytics do show that over 95% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed so even if I could get a small percentage of you guys to hit that subscribe button it does help so much and grow this channel so please hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying this content up to this point now back to the scheduled programming They're clearly the ones with the digging skills. I feel bad for them, Loki, but you wanna know what? A job has to get done. Somebody has to do it, that's for sure. Go ahead and add another level the same way that we've been doing, and we're obviously gonna have to dig up here a little bit, add some more ladder, but we want all of those beautiful minerals and everything in there. Add the ladder so they can hop up onto that platform once they get that built.
so yeah guys honestly we're gonna just watch these guys dig this out a little bit more here but this is a uh, this is gonna be where we're gonna basically cut this episode off the next episode i think it would be really good to revamp our power system and get a new power system going so that we don't need to worry about it shutting off at all uh i think that would be a good spot also adding some more duplicates maybe two more i think that would be a good place to stop and just see how the resources are at that time it's better than adding a whole bunch all at once so we have three more cots left so no more than three that's for sure but anyways guys as always, I appreciate each and every single one of you. You guys have been amazing since day one. Stay tuned for more episodes. There's always more coming out. I have a part two of Frostpunk coming next for you guys in the next couple days. And then I have had some really nice developers send out some codes early for some new games that are coming out. So I'll be bringing that to the channel as well. So you guys will want to stay tuned for that. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this. And as always, guys, it's the Video Game Architect, and I'm out until the next one.